Wolfpack Nation. Thank you guys so much for uh, ch- welcome to the channel and checking us out here. We've got a really special guest here that you probably saw in episode one. If you haven't checked that out, you can go back on our videos and look at that um, and before watching this episode. I think it's really informative here. But we have um, Bishop Fitzgerald here, guys. He is committed to NC State for the 2023 class uh, as a safety. He mentioned earlier his position was a strong safety in particular. Um Number one in his position coming out of some rankings from JUCO. So really big pickup for NC State on defense. Uh, so, Bishop, thanks for joining us, man. Really glad to have you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Yeah, awesome, man. So we talked a little bit about your game and how, what it's like playing from Coffeyville, um, being from Woodbridge, Virginia. Um, I guess I didn't even ask you this question, but let me ask you. I guess I'll ask this question. You, uh, how is your family reacting to all you – being committed man you're going yeah. from where you are now to coming back over to mm-hmm. the east coast how do they like that they were real excited you know it's only about four four and a half hour drive down eh. yeah d- d- yeah they can drive fast yeah you know <laughs> if you push them in a little bit but they excited. there we go they excited man being able to come watch some games because i've been in kansas for a year and a half now so they only caught one yeah. game maybe but it's right there now so, so- so, just out of curiosity, have you had a chance to look at the schedule at all for this upcoming year? Yeah. Like, have you like studied it? Yeah, so most I think we go they go to UConn for a game. I think and then that's the right. rest kind of just Virginia and North Carolina. So I mean, that's right. It's all right there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll have yeah the the uh, you know we'll, we'll have to link up and uh, we'll have we'll have your family over to tailgate for UVA. But uh, yeah, I'll be at that one. It's an hour and thirty minute drive. We got about a four hour drive out to out to tech and then it's all Raleigh, North Carolina, Durham. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think we're at wake next year too. If I'm, my, my memory serves me correctly. Yeah. Good schedule for them mm-hmm. to travel to. So I know they'll be excited about that. Yeah. Yep. And I, and I'll tell you what, man, it's, um, I, th- I think you mentioned this, like it is like the, the road games are all real close. And even if mm-hmm. it was, I mean, your family being able to come see you play games, you got a big family. Yeah. Pretty big, pretty big, big family, man. That's cool. Yeah. So it'll be really close by, um, I, I think you'll find man the NC State's fan base is really passionate. Yeah. Um, uh, particularly, you know, football and basketball. We've mm-hmm. had success in both areas, and uh, but man, football right now is really big. So we're really love what Dave Dorn's done, and bringing in a talent like you is a big deal for us. Um, have you gotten to get to know the rest of your recruiting classmates? Like, I mean, particularly the uh, defensive backs, man. There's a lot of defensive backs in this class. Yeah. Right? Uh, so I actually played against uh, Torrente. I think that's his name. Hinton, the, Hinton, the other yeah. Juco yeah. guy, he went to Hutch. So we played them twice this year. And, you know, I was watching him, you know, kind of respecting this game. He doing his thing out there. Yeah. And then now we're about to be future teammates. But uh, the other guys, yeah. It's funny how that works. Yeah, it is. But, yeah. But, yeah, they just kind of followed me on Twitter, you know, been kind of just communicating a little bit. Making, communicating. Yeah. 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 So I, I – um. I was just curious because I know that the class seems to have been, had been really tight, and I didn't know how – I don't even know how recruits keep up with each other other than, you know, getting probably together, text, mail, change. But yeah. that's really cool. Do you – did you – have you seen the, the – the, on Twitter, someone said, is this the best DB class State's ever had? Yeah. Have you seen that? Yep. So that was actually real cool. I actually was just uh, sitting my parents that they kind of said it's one of the highest ranked uh, DB classes they had in a, almost – a lot of years, I can't remember, but it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got upper three stars, some four stars, and we got number one JUCOs coming in. Mm-hmm. And um, it's look, it's funny because if you ask some state fans, probably, I don't know, probably Doran Doran's earlier years, you would always say that the cornerbacks and safeties were our weakest area, mm-hmm. and I think that's an area that they've done a really good job in the probably the last three or probably three or four recruiting cycles where that's that's the teeth of our defense mm-hmm. now uh, what do you think about that making do you would you agree with that statement i would say yeah i, I think the turnaround has been a technique i mean and a lot of it was just kind of i don't know how simple it is but maybe you can ex- you can explain it better bishop but like people would always a pick on are like oh you got to turn your head around and be able to find the ball because mm-hmm. if you're playing up on a guy and you're not turning your head around they're going to throw a flag on you yeah and that was like a big hang up people seem to have but the technique our guys are playing with and the aggressiveness they're playing with. I mean, I think they led – or they were either first or second in the ACC this year in interceptions. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I think if they were only, if they were second, it was only because Louisville, I think, had one game where they had like eight yeah, or that, something like that. Was, that that Sam Hartman. Yeah, that Wake Forest yeah. game. Yeah. 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 So beyond that, I mean, 
just totally night and day the level of teammates. And then when I was like, you know, just to kind of mention, I don't know if I'm sure you probably know the guys, but just for the state fans, you're talking about, you know, Bishop right here, Fitzgerald. You got uh, Torrente Hinton, Brandon Sisse from uh, the uh, from South Carolina as a DB. You've got Damon yeah, Fagan, Fagan from Florida, yeah. and you got Zach Myers, who's a safety, I think, or I don't know what position he's going to play, but uh, Zach Myers from the mountains here in North Carolina. And you're talking about guys of like we mentioned, Blinn, a four star, three star guys, like really, really talented. And the guys who are three stars, you might like bat your eye, like, oh, that's just three star. But like, those guys had like 20 mm-hmm. offers they're, or so, big time offers. They're upper so. three star. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, I, I am excited about that. But, but, you know, the talent we have at the position has really grown um, and the skill level has really uh, improved. So um, I, I guess. I guess you mentioned the, the schedule, and I I, I am curious because they guess there are some big time matchups. You see, like the season opener uh, at home is Notre, Notre Dame this coming year. Yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. like that, man, is huge. You know, yeah. Virginia Tech, Virginia, Wake Forest, Duke. You know, on their road games, mm-hmm. um, and I think I think that home it's Miami, UNC, Clemson, Notre Dame, and yeah. I can't it's remember the- Syracuse. I think is the other one. So. Yeah, I don't remember. It's going to be an insane home. Like it's honestly, Louisville. it's probably the the most name recognition home schedule we've ever had. Like maybe not like you know the best of teams, but like name recognition. Mm-hmm. That's an impressive, yeah. Yeah. impressive schedule. Yeah. So the um, I guess I'm curious. So what what stood out to NC State? You had a lot of other offers, man. Mm-hmm. And um, what was it about kind State of- that made you pick State? So actually, um, my high school coach played for um, Coach Joker. He was at Kentucky, so he kind of gave oh, okay. gave him a call. You know, they needed safety, so they said, "You know, I got a guy. You should check him out." And then that next day, uh, D four actually came in DC and seen me, and we kind of talked a little bit. And then it's actually funny because kind of like my big brother, he played for uh, Gibson and DeFore when he when they were at uh, West Virginia. My bad, West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah. So I kind of had a little bit of connections with them and. They're just telling me all good things about those guys, like real care, caring for your players, and they're going to get you to the next level. You know, sent a lot of NFL dudes out. And then my visit was just – I felt like I was already a student there for like three semesters. You know, it was just – just felt natural, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. So when do you awesome. when do you, when do you get on campus? Um, I got to finish an online class up here and then like an in-person okay. math class. So I think I might be able to get there by like March or so. Okay, so after spring, spring, spring ball, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. For spring or after spring? Uh, I'm not sure when they start their like actual spring ball. I know they're working out right now and doing all that stuff, but I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it might be in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be that'd be big time. That'd be big time. Um, I was just curious there if that's cool. Greg, you got anything? Are you? Uh, I'm just curious. Are you familiar with the turnover bone at all? Have they told you about that? Uh, you know, I I took a little photo shoot with it, but I wasn't really too familiar with it. <laughs> Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Dress Up protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Dress Up. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Gotcha. Yeah, sometimes that for me personally, I look at those things and I feel like they're kind of gimmicky. But I'm mm-hmm. like, man, like if it gets the player, if it gets the guys fired yeah. up, I don't really care. I just exactly. want to win, man. But yeah. the uh, it for me yeah. when you that's a uh, that's cool though. Those those kind of things are that are matter to y'all, matter to the players. Um, like some fans get on the get on the jerseys and all that. Mm-hmm. Like they want red and white. But I mean, hey. Sometimes those black jerseys, man, those uh, gray, white, those gray jerseys, they look pretty sharp. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I, so um, have you, have you spent a lot of time with Coach Dorn? Um, I'm curious what your thoughts are about him. Yeah. So he actually, you know, he called me when I came in. He was real excited. He was like, you know, we going we going to uh, light it red tonight. I was like, wow, you know, that's just, there you go. that's just a lot of love right there. And then I talk, I talk yeah. with him probably every other day, to be honest. He's real active in recruiting me. So, you know the head coach yeah. recruiting. That's that's huge. Are you familiar with the light at red? With what? Why? Why? Why he made yeah. that and everything he explained. Yeah. To you? Cool. Cool. That's awesome. That's cool, man. The um, I guess I guess where do you see your game still wanting to work on and, and build for you know going into the off season? Where are you gonna be working on coming in NC State? I feel like uh, just weight room to be honest, just getting real faster and explosive coming from this level. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a little 
like faster, definitely way faster, but just getting my body right and getting prepared. I think that's going to be the biggest part. Yeah. Did they have any sort of, of yeah, go ahead, Greg. I know what you're going to say. I was going to say, you got one of the best to teach you there in coach thunder. We, uh, he's a legend at NC state and, uh, You'll, you'll get the whole Body by Thunder program, and uh, I'm sure he'll get you get you shaped up in, in no time. Yeah, so let me ask you this, uh, uh, Bishop. What's your what? You know, you're at Coffeeville now, mm-hmm. and I don't want to discredit you being there. What kind of goals do you have now that you're you know wrapping up there? So you finish out your classes. Have you done everything you feel like you needed to do or wanted to do there? Yeah, I feel like I came in and uh, I did everything I had to do here. You know, I got finished with uh, I think a three point one and. Made first team all American awesome, this dude. year, so I think I That's I awesome. set my goals and I, I, I did pretty good. I give myself That's a pat awesome, on the dude. back. That's good. Yeah, it's awesome, yeah, man. For That's sure. kind of stuff. The, the, the off the out of, in, in the classroom stuff is really awesome to hear about people succeeding there and working hard at it. So I guess my question then for you is, what goals do you have coming in NC State? What are you What are you wanting to achieve when you come to state? Yeah, I'm trying to be honest. I think I think. NC State's due for like an ACC championship coming up. There we go. Soon. Yeah, so, you know, I kind of, yeah, for sure. I feel that energy, the program kind of really shift. You know, they becoming like, you know, maybe they could get one of these like TCU type runs coming up, especially with the twelve man, twelve man yeah. playoff coming up. I feel like you know they're gonna be yeah in there a lot. Yeah. Let me get your thoughts on that just while we're talking about it. It's not necessarily, but what are your thoughts about the playoff expanding? I think I think it's good and bad. You know, it's kind of. It's football. It's not like basketball. You know, you can't play that many games. It's a lot of wear and tear on your body. But, but, yeah, yeah. but a lot more teams being able to get that chance. You know, I think college football is kind of almost every given week. You know, something crazy could happen. So, I think the fans just want it too, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you know, we all we all love football, but we also we also don't like seeing the same teams exactly. playing it every year, right? Exactly. Like, you want little little freshness to it. Mm-hmm. So, I, I'm I'm with you there. Yeah, but I think what TCU did, if TCU can do it. NC State can do it. Yeah, Wake, definitely. you know, it, you know, all these other schools that can really do it in the ACC. If, mm-hmm. if it, I think it gives hope. It doesn't. I like seeing that personally because I'm like a guy who likes seeing di- like the diversity in the competition. If it's mm-hmm. always the same guys, I think that says something Stale. about their programs. If they're always winning, but when you have a team that comes like that, it's like I think I think I think State could do it, man. Yeah. I think they can. But you getting the AC championship as a goal, you know, that's to me priority number one right yeah, now. <laughs> So, yeah. are there uh, are there any uh, any schools or uh, stadiums that you're look, kind of looking forward to playing in? Uh, you know, once you get here, um, just kind of curious on your thoughts there. Um, you know, I, I actually I don't know. I'm not familiar with the name of y'all stadium, but just walking in, it, man, that, that's, yeah, it's huge. Yeah. To be honest, I'm like, wow, yeah, know? yeah. And I watched a few uh, pregame clips. You know, they lighting it red and. All that stuff. It just yeah. it look it look crazy to be honest. One, like yeah, a better a- yeah. atmosphere to play in. Well, yeah, so it, it's Carter Finley Stadium, um, and then I don't know if you even like they any they even told you, but there's gonna be a new scoreboard on the other end oh, next yeah. year. It's gonna be huge. Yeah, it's gonna be massive. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be as wide as the whole stadium. So <laughs> if they um, said they gonna, said they said it's gonna be a uh, one of the top ten largest video boards yeah. in college football. Dang. Um, so yeah. new new sound system. That's that stuff's more for fans at some mm-hmm. time, but I know it matters to players too. Yeah. Um, but I, I think they get hyped up about it. Oh, I did it too. The, yeah. it, it, it screen's going to be massive, dude. Yeah, that, that, that yeah. Be massive. But yeah. Uh, that's that's really cool. I, I'm excited about it. I think you know if you want to get some look at some history, man. Especially when you talk about opponents we had here. Um, you go back, check out some games. 2017 against Louisville at home. Yeah, you saw the game. 2021 game against Clemson at home. Mm-hmm. Um, Heck, you won't even go back to Notre Dame. Go look at the last time State played Notre Dame in Raleigh at, 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 inside the Carter Family Stadium, or I mean, they call it the Carters. Like some people just call it the Carter. Carter. But uh, it's uh, yeah. Um, that was a hurricane game. There's a, there's so much rich history there and culture, man. That I hope that you guys keep building on. Um, yeah. So good stuff, yeah. and we'll have to maybe you know off to the side send you some links. Hey, check out this one. Check yeah, out that one. Definitely. So you can get yeah. history there, man. I will say, like the one thing, like you know, you you know, this is more for Macon and I. But you, when you talk about NC State players in the NFL, we don't have a lot of de- defensive back history. Like we've we've had some, there's we've some, had a few, some good some. yeah. There's some, but not like in other positions, mm-hmm. right? And yeah. I think I think we're gonna start seeing it now. Yeah. I think with uh, you know Aiden White, you got Shaheen Battle, um, you know, you got Fagan, um, who I think will get drafted this year. So I, I'm really excited about like. 
the defensive side of the ball. We, I love offense, but man, defense wins championships. Sure. So I'm, I'm excited yeah. for you guys, man. Thanks. Yeah, man. Well, Hey Bishop, man, we're so excited for you to come to NC state, man. And, you know, continue to build what uh, Dave Dorn and Tony Gibson are doing here. And honestly, just to see you play in the, back there I'm in hyped. the backfield. It's, 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 I'm ex- I mean, I'm telling you, State fans are really excited to have you committed, man. I so, appreciate it. Uh, I love – for me personally, I love seeing local guys. Obviously, we're, we're neighbors, you mm-hmm. know, being from Northern Virginia. So, like, um, just seeing a local kid do well, um, you know, it doesn't even have to be at State. Just in general, just going out there and living their, living their best life and, and fulfilling their dreams and – I'm happy for you, man. I'm so excited. Um, and it makes it even more special you're coming to state. So yeah. I, I can't wait, man. I cannot thank wait. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, hey, to NC State fans, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode here. And, and hold on, real know, quick before we stop. Yeah. Hey, but, give us your social. Give us your social. Yeah, 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 so yeah, we yeah. can we can we can follow you. You know, we want to make sure that everyone from Wolfpack Nation is is seeing what you're up to, man. So give us your Instagram if you've got that. Uh, Twitter, whatever you want to share, man. The yep. floor is yours. Uh, my Twitter, Ball Out Bishop. That's kind of my my name. You know, they've been calling me that for a while. So I like my it. My Twitter, Ball Out Bishop. My Instagram, also Ball Out Bishop. So you no, know, yeah, that's it. I'm in. All right, cool, awesome. That's making wrap us up, man. Yeah, I should have done that even on the first episode. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll put good. a link there. So, but yeah, we'll uh, drop that. In yeah, state fan, uh, state fans, Bullpack Nation. Thank you guys for checking us out, and be sure to like and subscribe and share this video around. And um, you know, so state fans get to know Bishop and. Uh, I know it's exciting, guys. We're right in the middle of basketball season, and state, you know, is doing well. But it is, I know everybody is all, always on the mind about football, and this is a big time. Two hundred and seventeen days till kickoff. <laughs> Two seventeen. Two seventeen, man. Yeah, and hey, Bishop, they got like a counter too in the yeah, inside. I see uh, it. I see it. Down. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, I will. Uh, we'll be, we'll be nation. Thank you guys so much, and we will let you go. Um, as always, go pack. Go pack. Go pack.